Hello my soccer universe. My wife is bringing the kids to bed so they are in the other room next door so you might hear them. Hope it won't bother you too much and I am using this time to actually um, show you some more of my scarves. I am wearing Argentina which has nothing to do with any of the scarves that I'm showing you today. Because we're looking all at half-half scarves, special event scarves and since the Bundesliga is starting and I have just a few German scarves to make it like a nice package. Um, added the German scarves there as well. As I said, Argentina has nothing to do with it except that uh, it's from the World Cup 2006, but nothing of that is in there as well. Um, but I decided now to post, and if you're a member of my Facebook group or my Twitter account, the back of the video, there are the links, um, I post every day the shirt that I'm wearing for most of the time. I might sometimes change it for the video if I need one that fits the theme, but today I decided not to. Let's look at those half-half scarves, which are sometimes match scarves. There's also friendship scarves that we'll see, but the first one, the first one that I ever had, is the following match scarf between Austria and Sweden. Österreich, Sweden. This was the World Cup qualifying game for the 98 World Cup on the 6th of September 97 which Austria won it was a kind of, kind of a crucial win it was a great tense game and a wonderful goal where I was sitting right at the line where this wonderful goal by Andy Herzog was scored uh, look at the highlights on YouTube if I find them uh, you will have them up here uh, the scarf is a little bit weird I mean it's relatively, relatively cheap uh, you know, not the stuff you have here the Austrian Eagle which actually is quite good it says Österreich and then Weltmeisterschaftsqualifikation, which means World Cup qualifier. Weltmeisterschaft is such a typical German word. I have to say the Sweden part is a little bit weird because it's just a Swedish flag. Um, that kind of, you know, compare the two sides. Not too crazy <laughs> about the differences here. But yeah, I have a Sweden scarf if I want. And I think I've seen Sweden quite, quite often. Austria Sweden is I think a match that I saw at least three times already. So there you go. My first time I was in Vienna to watch a game was also Austria Sweden. This was for the 94 World Cup qualifier. So yeah. So that's the first one. The second one is now a German scarf and I really go chronologically. Um, living in Austria, especially in Linz, the closest place that you can watch top soccer uh, is the German Bund Bundesliga and Munich is, you know, it's a three hour drive from here. Um, and, you know, Bayern games have been in there, but actually the team that we always liked better was 1816. I have to say 1860 Munich is probably still my favorite German team. Maybe that's why the colors here are fitting. So yeah, 1860 Munich. Uh, and the first time we saw them, I think was in 99 when they were playing Gladbach and they had not only a, a bunch of Austrian players like Czerny and I'm not sure if we uh, Weissenberger was not, not playing, but I know Czerny was uh, playing for them in Stranzl. And for Gladbach, we had Tony Porster playing. The one season that, you know, he's a Köln icon and then he moves to Gladbach, which is something that I still not understand to this day. And then he got relegated because he didn't want to stay with Köln because they got relegated in 98. He moves to Gladbach and then he gets relegated again. So was his fault in a way. So uh, 1860 Munich is this scarf here and I think it's a quite nice one. Uh, it has actually a little bit half half theme in there as well, although it's just a club scarf says the club's name. I find it funny that it says here Olympia Stadion and I bought this scarf right at that game in 99. The logo with the lion is quite nice and yeah I think it's a decent German scarf. No, it does not have a German flag and the really nice feature here is there is a really nice pattern at the end of the scarf on both sides and I think in both sides it's light blue so that I actually like a lot. Speaking of 1860, I think a few years later, I want to say two years later, but I'm not 100%. We again went to the Olympia Stadion because they, we said we want to see them play against a really good side. And the one side that we wanted to see was Dortmund. And believe it or not, Dortmund and 1860 Munich have a fan friendship. And so we have this half-half scarf. Super fans. We have one side Dortmund. Uh, gemeinsam sind... What does it say? 
gemeinsam sind wir stark, together we are strong, and then we have the 1860 side. The more interesting part is that both sides are different. So uh, we had this side here where we have the Dortmund logo here, and you know, you see how it goes. And then the other side, I actually have to say I like this one better. I don't like this with the super fans, uh, to be honest. We have one, again, it says gemeinsam, uh, gemeinsam fair play, it says on there. So here we have here, here's the 1860 side, very Bavarian. And there's the lion, of course, which is the club symbol. And then for the Dortmund side, um, Borussia Dortmund. I think it's pretty, pretty nice to have this. It's an old scarf, it says. Uh, 95, I don't know what this is, but yeah, I said we, I saw this at the game and then it was clear, yeah, we gotta get this, I have to get this scarf. I have another match scarf here, uh, between club teams and then we're slow, no, not yet, uh, between club teams and this was a pre-season friendly, the 95 year anniversary of Lusk. And who did we play? Ah, it's Roma. In the stadium in Linz, and this was the last last game that I saw before we went before I moved to America. So this has a, a certain value for me as well. I'm not. Sh I don't like that the last logo is kind of half s because the part with the flag is missing. The Roma logo is actually quite good. Um, it's again. Um, it says here, 95 years of tradition, and then the same thing in Italian, and then. The black and white history continues. Here is the flag logo that you want to see. And then, of course, the date of the game, 23rd of July in 03. The match was like a typical preseason friendly, was decided by a penalty that Totti converted. And for once, I was, because I just got my 03, 0203 black Totti uh, third jersey. I was wearing that one with my last scarf. I said for a preseason friendly, I don't mind have, having that. So yeah, it's a kind of a neat scarf, kind of a nice memento. This was a huge deal that Roma was visiting us back then. Okay, another German scarf. This one I got uh, during the 2006 World Cup. So another connection with this. We had tickets for Spain and uh, watched Spain played Tunisia, so all the group games for Spain, we saw Spain, Tunisia was played in Stuttgart and I knew I'm a Stuttgart fan and while walking through the city, you know, when you're when, there, when you always looked at the town, 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 checked out the towns and so on. And I was actually hoping that we find a Stuttgart fan shop and we did. And I got this relatively timid scarf, I mean it's red and white, the club's colors. The only thing that really makes it a Stuttgart uh, scarf is that there's the 5B logo on there i know stuttgart is probably the other team that i like next to uh, 1860 where i really should get a jersey i have to say i always there's something about this logo that i always liked even although this lettering is very old german lettering there's something really nice about it the scarf almost you can almost wear this anywhere uh it doesn't even have it on the other side so it's very this is almost uh one that you can go out like that and no one will know this is a soccer scarf maybe they will and so on and then we had the last couple of scarves already uh the next tournament euro 2008 and they this was i mean in, in, in 2006 work i've already re realized that the whole marketing machine was going really strong but i have to say for euro 2008 since it was in austria if you went to any sports store you got stuff all over over the place i should maybe make another video on uh you know i have t-shirts from euro two one t-shirt from euro 2008 but also from other tour tournaments but they also sold scarves and you know, in the local sports store this is an official euro 2008 italy scarf which i didn't want to show in my national team stuff i have to say as an italy scarf the best thing it has is that there's the flag kind of there you have the euro 2008 logo i note very importantly note um there's a little blue what 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 what, what did i want to say yeah it's yeah i mean it tries to do the branding it is just um it's not my favorite scarf but when i got it i thought it's pretty cool yeah what i want to say note italy were world champions at that time so italy products were kind of very popular so yeah i am not sure how nicely this italia is written 
as I said, it's not my absolute favorite scarf, but hey, so what? I was wearing this scarf together with my Gattuso jersey in the quarterfinal, Spain against Italy. And of course there, I mean, the tickets we got this, I think I never paid more for a soccer match with potentially Barcelona Leeds United in the Champions League in 2000. 99? Was, was it 99? 2000, no, it was, 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 was in 2000. 2000, 2001 is when Leeds was good. Don't nail me down on that one now. I think it was 2000, 2001. Something like that. Anyway, um, we got tickets for that match. It was not a great match, but I have the match scarf, which was another, I think, 10, 10, 10 years. So we have Italy. Spain and you have of course UEFA Euro 2008 Vienna on the 22nd of June I think quarterfinal they all pretty I mean, actually this scarf looks a little bit nicer I have to say than the other one because it's really this it has just the uh, uh, country's flags and so on. so it's a um, unique piece in a way uh cohesive this one doesn't look very cohesive to me there's a little bit too much color data they, they can kind of decide what they want and the logo is way too big um so we don't have the euro 2008 logo which is nice we have it here on the official tag well yeah as i said the game was not all the great and the pal pal the i think the most memorable scene to me despite a small perform blunder where he lost the ball and went on to the post was uh, I think Di Natale came, came, came on late in overtime uh, got checked was lying on the ground saw it is outside and then rolled inside to cause the game to be stopped mm. Italian gamesmanship you gotta love it anyway let me know what you think about the Oscars, which ones you like. I mean, this is a very contentious category, except for the German part. Uh, I think the best scarf in there that I showed is definitely the 1860 scarf. Uh, the rest is kind of so-and-so, no, nothing great, but you know, I have them. So yeah, anyway, let me know if you have any have half scarves or anything that fits in this category for special events. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye!